In a groundbreaking twist to artificial intelligence, scientists have accomplished something extraordinary, and this time, they have merged human brain cells with AI. And the results may completely shock you. A completely new kind of computer has now emerged, one that thinks, learns, and evolves using live neurons. As science brings neurons and algorithms together, we're beginning to ask not just what machines can do, but what it means to think, to feel, to be. So in a world where AI forgets and hardware breaks, these brain cell hybrids promise something new. Stay tuned as we dive into the science, the breakthroughs, and the ethical shockwaves behind the most mind-blowing tech of the decade. Enter CL-1, a device that doesn't just compute, but it thinks is exactly what Australian biotech firm Cortical Labs has built with CL-1, a revolutionary biocomputer powered by actual human brain cells. At first glance, it might look like your typical desktop gadget, complete with a sleek touchscreen, USB ports, and even a built-in camera. But hidden within its casing is something extraordinary, a tiny biological lab housing living neurons. These aren't simulations, they're real, lab-grown brain cells that fire, connect, and communicate just like they would inside your head. The built-in self-regulating chamber in the CL1 is nothing short of a miracle, sustaining delicate neurons alive and thriving for up to six months, all without a single touch. It tirelessly monitors temperature, delivers vital nutrients, and sweeps away waste, serving as a tiny yet relentless life support system, silently battling to keep life pulsating within. What makes it even more impressive is its plug-and-play accessibility. For around $35,000, this living machine is available for pre-order with delivery in about 90 days. CL1 is primarily intended for research institutions and tech developers, not yet for general consumers, which means researchers, developers, and even curious innovators outside traditional labs can now access a piece of living, thinking tech. The Deersh Brain. The story of CL1 begins with Cortical Labs' breakthrough called Dish Brain. They used a dish containing 800,000 living neurons trained to play the game Pong. These neurons didn't follow a preset program. Instead, they learned by responding to electrical signals and feedback from the game, improving their performance over time. This was real biological learning, not just computer code. This achievement showed that neurons outside the brain could adapt and learn, opening new possibilities for AI. Inspired by this success, Cortical Labs developed Synthetic Biological Intelligence, SBI, a hybrid model combining living neurons with advanced technology to create more natural, adaptable AI systems. CL1 builds on this foundation by providing a stable environment to keep neurons alive and active for months. The difference. Most people assume artificial neural networks mirror the way our brains work, but that's far from the truth. Traditional AI relies on simplified equations, useful for pattern recognition, but lacking memory, emotion, or adaptability. Human brain cells, by contrast, excel at continuous learning. They adjust to new tasks without forgetting old ones, something AI still struggles with right now. Merging biological neurons with silicon processors offers a way to bridge that gap. This hybrid approach could unlock AI that truly understands context learns from experience, and reacts with flexibility. By combining the strengths of living cells and digital tech, we're moving closer to machines that think more human. The wetware revolution. For decades, we have heard that computing has been all about hardware and software. But now there's something new, named as the wetware, which are living tissues designed to do computation. Take the human brain, for example. It handles incredibly complex tasks while using only about 20 watts of energy. That's less than a typical light bulb. In comparison, today's AI systems gulp down megawatts of power just to keep running. By tapping into the natural efficiency of biological systems, scientists are aiming to create machines that are not only smarter, but also far more energy friendly. Imagine computers that learn and adapt like humans, but without draining the planet's resources. Brain Aware. Taking this concept further, researchers at Indiana University Bloomington developed Brain Aware, a neural hybrid system grown from stem cell derived brain organoids. When placed on electrode arrays and trained to recognize speech, Brain Aware achieved an impressive 78% accuracy. 
Unlike traditional AI, this organoid learned from its environment much like a human infant learning language. Such results may open exciting possibilities for integrating living brain tissue with digital systems to unlock more advanced cognitive functions. BIOS. At the heart of the CL1 is BIOS, the Biological Intelligence Operating System. Unlike traditional operating systems that simply run software, BIOS creates a dynamic virtual environment that interacts directly with the living neurons inside the device. Through this continuous feedback loop, the neurons don't just follow commands, they learn, adapt, and respond with what feels like genuine purpose. BIOS transforms raw biological activity into meaningful, goal-driven behavior. Mind-machine mergers. Alongside biocomputing, brain-computer interfaces, BCIs, are also evolving fast. Neuralink, founded by Elon Musk, recently conducted its first human brain chip implant, aiming to help people with paralysis control digital devices through thought alone. The initial trials show promise, with an early volunteer reportedly moving a computer cursor using only their minds. But while Neuralink focuses on interpreting human thoughts, biocomputers like CL1 explore how machines might develop thought-like processes of their own through living neurons. It's not just about reacting to commands, it's about machines learning, adapting, and potentially forming their own patterns of behavior. But projects like CL1 flip that concept. Instead of the brain talking to the machine, the machine is the brain. The ethical crossroads. When working with living cells, ethical questions can't be ignored. Even though these lab-grown neurons have never been part of a conscious brain, their use raises important concerns. Could these cells one day develop awareness? Is it right to use living matter to power machines? Are we simply creating advanced tools or are we venturing into the creation of new forms of life? What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Bioethicists are already stepping in to guide these conversations. While most researchers agree that current systems aren't conscious, as the technology grows more complex, clear moral boundaries will become essential. Limits and hurdles. Despite its exciting potential, this technology is still in its early stages. One of the biggest hurdles is scalability. Today's systems work with relatively small numbers of neurons, but matching the complexity of the human brain or cutting-edge AI will require millions more. Power supply, ongoing maintenance, and natural biological variability also pose significant challenges. Though the CL1 can sustain neurons for six months without intervention, questions remain about how long such systems can last and how consistent they will be when scaled up. The bigger picture. Looking beyond the immediate challenges, the bigger picture is truly inspiring. If this technology succeeds, it could revolutionize far more than AI alone. Imagine surgical robots that learn and improve with every operation, disaster response drones that adapt instantly to changing conditions, or digital assistants that genuinely understand emotion and context, not because they were programmed to, but because they learned to. This blend of biology and technology could transform medicine, robotics, automation, and even the way we think about intelligence itself. Neural technology is evolving faster than we ever imagined. And for the first time, machines aren't just mimicking intelligence, they're becoming it. Whether this future excites you or terrifies you, one thing's certain, the age of living machines has begun. And here's a food for thought. Are biocomputers the next leap in human progress or the beginning of something we don't fully understand? Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more cutting edge science brought to life. Because the brain is no longer just inside your head, it's inside the machine.